Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Nathan. In this video we are going to talk about the volatility in the markets, the fundamental news driving the markets, technical levels, supply, demand zones, and how we use that to guide and influence our trading decisions and give us a sustainable competitive advantage in our trades. To start, we saw the markets gaping down with the Omicron fears rattling the market futures pointing to a 1% lower start to the day on the S&P futures. There's also the uncertainty around the Fed's accelerated bond tapering and how this could create more risk off scenario. We were quick to take advantage of this increased VIX to enter the SPX0 DTE put credit spread at 4480-4450 for a nice premium price of close to $1 or $100 at each option contract indicates 100 shares of stock. We were able to take advantage of a strong technical support level at 4490 which should push up the markets and we should see demand coming in around the 4490 area. We use technical levels, supply demand zones, and buying volume on the level 2 tape to determine the direction of the market. We then saw that SPX was consolidating around the 4530 area and we are already in a nice profit on the zero DTE due to the accelerated theta. We then saw the markets recover steadily as we had expected and we were looking at the entry on the call side for the zero DTE. We observed market supply and overhead resistance from the overnight futures at the 4570 area which was broken down decisively in the pre-trading session and this should now act as resistance. We entered the 4580-4610 call credit spread for a $82 credit per contract. Typically we recommend 6 contracts bringing this to a total of $500 on calls plus $600 on puts or $1100 per day on 18k of capital bringing a return to around 7% per day which is huge, given that the market had a red day today. This is the potential of our strategy and the potential of option selling. I have shown you my live portfolio every single day and only trust people who share their live alerts and trade reviews. Again, I'd like to reiterate that many scammers out there are trying to lure everyone into buying risky options just based on technical alerts. Although occasionally this could work, if you keep speculating you are going to lose eventually. Only a system that has been back tested, has positive expected return, and takes advantage of strategic pricing and direction could work long term in these volatile markets. You should only trust someone who takes the same trades as you do, shares their live portfolio results, and trades in high liquid options such as the SPX. If you buy options, it is similar to gambling at the casino and you just lose money due to the negative expected return value. You need to trade with conviction a confident mindset, and most importantly, a trading system that you could adequately provide positive returns over time. Hope this video was useful to you. Thanks everyone for watching and have a great green day. Cheers!